The next bill on the calendar for the day is House File 3768. The clerk will report the bill. House, House File Number 3768, number two on the calendar for the day, an act relating to civil law, the first engrossment. The member from Anoka, Representative Cagle, to your bill. Thank you, Madam Speaker and members. Um, when Minnesotans are injured, they sometimes are compensated for their injuries by settling up a long-term long payments through a structured settlement that's, that is approved by the courts. These settlement payments are intended to address ongoing needs for income, losses, and med medical bills, and sometimes long into the future. Uh, a recent Star Tribune series exposed the, a problem with our current law by allowing these long-term settlements to be sold to third parties, frequently for small fractions of what they're actually worth. The article pointed out the lack of clear tools to prevent the types of abuse that have occurred in the past. After working through the fall of 2021 and now all of 2022 with the consumer advocates, attorneys, uh, and annuity insurance companies that create the structured settlements and some of the structured settlement purchasing companies, we have developed a, str strong, a strong set of consumer protections, clear guidance to the courts, and registration and prohibited practices for companies that are attempting to purchase structured settlements in Minnesota. Through House File 3768, we improve the information that is disclosed to consumers before a transaction, including financial implications of the transaction in terms that they can easily understand. It will now require the courts to make a decision and in, in written findings that the transaction is in the best interest of the consumer based on the new and clear factors. These include the ability to meet financial obligations after a sale of a settlement, if the sale will impact eligibility for public assistance, the age, maturity, and mental capacity of the person proposed to sell their settlement. Currently, the customer makes the decision that the sale is in their best interest, and they are often misled about the long-term financial losses they face after the sale. House File 3768 allows the court to obtain independent advice about the sale of a transaction, which will be paid for by the company proposing to purchase the settlement. Uh, we also now mandate the courts to obtain independent advice if the proposed sale is the sale of a minor settlement or the sale involves someone with an impairment that could make them more susceptible to being abused. <clears throat> this bill uh, requires companies that want to purchase settlements in Minnesota register with the Secretary of State and post a bond to pay damages in case they fail to perform their obligations. We also impose a new list of prohibited practices like preventing constant harassing phone calls, pressuring, to, uh, pressuring a sale, so that these companies can be held accountable for improper conduct. We need structured settlements to provide long-term needs of the injured. And these payments prevent the injured person and their families from relying on government assistance and often give them the means to live independently with dignity. We're not encouraging the sale of these settlements, but with this bill, we can correct the past abuses and make sure any sale is given better scrutiny before the courts and that the consumer will have much better information about what, about what they're about to give up. So, thank you. There's an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. Cagle moves to amend House File Number 3768, the first engrossment. The amendment is coded A3. Representative Cagle, to your amendment. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, the A3 amendment is just some technical fixes to language, um, and so hope for a green vote on that one. Any discussion on the A3 amendment? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. aye. Those opposed, please say no. The motion prevails. The amendment is adopted. There are no further amendments at the desk. The clerk will give the bill its third reading. Third reading, House Law number 3768, as amended. Third reading, as amended. The member from Anoka, Representative Scott. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. And I'd like to thank Representative Cagle for her hard work on this bill. Um, this is a really good consumer protection piece, and it, it prevents people from being from this process being abused and people getting pennies on the dollar on these settlements. So I encourage members green vote. Any further discussion? 
Representative Cagle. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I just really want to thank all the advocates who helped me on this. Um, it was a really amazing process that we were all able to come together and get um, agreement on this bill. And um, I kind of affectionately call this bill the um, I just cut off my fingers, give me work to do bill. So, <laughs> so this is what I've been working on for a while. So thank you guys. The clerk will take the roll on the bill. Members, please vote. Will the clerk please call the names of the members that have not voted yet? Bonner. Bonner. Bonner I. Bonner I. Bonner I. Damoth. Damoth I. Damoth I. Draskowski. Draskowski, no. Draskowski, no. Franzen. Franzen, yes. Franzen I. Hamilton. Hamilton I. Hamilton I. Houseman. Houseman I. Houseman I. Hollins. Hollins I. Hollins I. Keel. Keel I. Keel I. Kosnick. Kosnick. Miller. Miller I. Miller I. Nelson N. Nelson N I. Nelson N I. Olson B. Olson B. I. Olson B. I. Sandstead. Sandstead I. Sandstead I. Swazinski. Swazinski I. Swazinski I. Thompson. Thompson. The clerk will close the roll. There being 121 ayes and four nays, the bill is passed as amended and its title agreed to.